This actually took maybe, just maybe, 10 minutes to set up. All for this, and the webcam wouldn't stay I, th I First off, I just want to mention that the tripod I'm using... It fucking sucks, as you can see. <laughs> Stop being stupid. Ah! <laughs> this, this tripod. It, 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 what the? Hey guys, what's up? This is Carbonuck, and today, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing something that I do a lot on my channel. So basically, what I'm going to do for you guys today is I'm going to teach you guys how to install Minecraft mods in your Minecraft, obviously. I mean, that's probably, so if you're going to be watching a channel about mods, and mod showcases, yeah, you might as well learn how to install mods. I mean, I get people asking me this, not, actually, well, it's not exactly how to install mods. It's more or less how to install certain mods, like Speedsters, Academy Craft, all the big mods I've done on my channel, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that right now. Okay, so now that we got everything already set up, let's finally install some mods. So what you want to do first up is you're going to need to download the mod that you want in the first place. Now, not every mod is going to be the same Minecraft version. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to install that certain version of Minecraft Forge for your, for that mod. So let's say I want to uh, play Heroes Expansion. That's the most requested thing that I haven't got out of my comments in forever. So a Heroes Expansion is a 1.10.2 mod. And I already have 1.10.2 Forge already installed, but I'm gonna show you guys how to install Forge right off the bat. So basically what you do is you go onto their website, Minecraft or files.minecraftforge.net, and it will give you a few options here. I'll give you a few versions here, so you're able to come back here and download all the certain versions of Minecraft that you will need. Now, I'm not saying this tutorial might help you guys, because there are actually a few little details that I might throw you off. For an example, the, the certain Java that you use, 7 or 8, that was a whole big thing that happened back then. But I'm pretty sure it's resolved now that most mods are, should be able to work on whichever Java you're using. I don't know why, but I just need to throw that out there. <laughs> but, um, so let's say you want to download a 1.11.2. Uh, Minecraft Forge. Now I'm, not, I'm just using this as an example, but uh, you click the, you press the installer, you download it. Once you get that, you will get the 1.11.2 Minecraft Forge installer. You double click this. Once you double click it, it will actually give you an option to install client, server, or extract. Now installing on server, that's a little bit different because I don't actually know how to install mods on a or make a modded server manually. So that you're gonna have to learn on your own. But installing on client, that basically um, the directory to the your Minecraft, it will actually like uh, install Forge into that area, <laughs> which it's a little bit complicated at first, but there's one little tidbit I need to tell you guys first. So if you were to install 1.11.2 Forge in the first place, you would need to ha run a 1.11.2 Minecraft in the beginning. Basically what I'm saying is here is if I were to even get this working, you would actually need to have a 1.11.2 Minecraft version uh, profile already set up. And this is also for the new launchers as well. So once you got the 1.11.2 Minecraft profile already set up and then you ran it, uh, what you do now is you install client, it will actually install Forge into that Minecraft directory. You'll have a 1.11.2 Minecraft Forge, or Minecraft modded, yeah, profile. So once you have that, um, now that you have your modded stuff, you're able to put in mods. Now in this case, I'm using 1.10.2, which 1.10.2 allows Heroes Expansion and Lootcraft Core. Now there are two different types of mods I did not actually go over because I wanted to get over uh, all the setting up of Minecraft Forge. So now, what I'm going to talk about right now is add-on mods and solo mods. Solo mods do not require certain stuff like cores or any uh, supportive mod with that mod that you want to run. What I'm talking about is like Optifine, for example. Optifine allows to allows you to boost your frame rate a little bit. It gives you a little bit more options with your graphical settings, or like the Bleach mod, or uh, the Pixel Cam mod, or Hardcore Darkness YouTubers mod, shaders, all that. All those most mods out there are solo mods. Those are made by other developers, and they don't you know you don't require a supportive you know uh, dot jar or mod or whatever. Add-on mods like Lootcraft, any of the Speedster mods, Academy Craft and stuff, those all have supportive mods with it that you're supposed to download. So Academy Craft in this case had the Lambda Lib thing, which uh, uh, let me see if I can pull it up real quick to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So here, Academy Craft is right here. 
and you would most likely need to download lambda lib so yeah you're gonna you, this is basically what a core mod is basically you need this in order to run this so that's the difference between some mods so some mods are gonna require a core or a support mod for the, uh, the mod that you want to run and solo mods are just you're able to drag it into your mods folder and that's it oh yeah by the way then to install mods is really just dragging and dropping into the mods folder which a mods folder is created once you run the forged profile in your minecraft so yeah i dragged in these guys in so now let's actually show you guys the results of what happens once you actually make this work so now where's the forge one point oh, god damn it. so depending on how many mods you have installed in your minecraft this will usually okay there we go i got cut off for a second because my webcam stopped working for some reason but basically to know if you have a, a mod in minecraft in the first place it will show you on the bottom left powered by forge and it'll show you the version of forge what it has and it shows you how many mods you have loaded into your minecraft and you'll even have a mod tab here to see which mods you have installed in the first place so and also it'll give you uh, let's see it'll give you the controls to the mod and that's pretty much it and now look you got you, you'll even if you're going creative you got all you got these new tabs of all the of all the good stuff that's in the mod so yeah that's pretty much it to how to install mods there's really not much else to it per se but uh this is also a little bit of sneak peek of how to how the mod showcases go down and stuff hopefully you guys enjoyed if you found this helpful make sure you leave a like comment down below what you think um hopefully this helped you yet again and thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys in the next episode bye